Hi, today we're here to show you how to install your Family Dollar mop and broom fixture system. You're going to get three boxes that have different fixtures in them. Within each box you're going to get a setup instruction that will show you how to do it. When you're done, the rack is going to look like this. As we discussed, you will be getting three boxes of mop and broom racks. Each box will look like this. They are all individually labeled with different item numbers, as well as an A sign, a B, and a C. You will need all three of these before you can start. As we mentioned, in each box you will have a setup instruction. The instructions are the same for each one of the kits. It will include a photograph of what your set will look like when you're done. It also shows the different parts and how many come in kit A, B, and C. And then it steps you, walks you through step by step how to build your rack. We'll go through this now together. The first step in installing your racks will need to install these ladders. There will be four of them in all the kits. Kit A, B, and C each will have four take out the ladders and lay them against the wall. You will need to, of course, clean the planogram space to start building. The ladders have a top and a bottom. At the top, you'll notice there's an extra wire sticking out on each end. As you get to the bottom, they're cleaned. So align all of the ladders so that the top is facing up. As we look to install the ladders, we need to determine the proper height for them to go in. If you have a tape measure, it will make it easier. You start at the top of the base deck and you measure up 60 inches and you find the row of holes where the ladder is going to be installed. If you don't have tape measure, you can just count 60 holes up to get to the 60th row. We then take the first ladder, we count in three holes, one, two, three, and we install this swivel hook into that hole. We'll then count over five holes, one, two, three, four, five, and install the second swivel. When you're done, the ladder will sit on the, planet, on the pegboard like this. We will now proceed to install the remaining three ladders. As you install the ladders, as we noted, you'll use these swivel hooks. Be careful though, because when you, the hooks go in only one way. If the ladder is backwards, the hook won't go in. You'll need to turn the ladder over so that the hooks will go in properly. You'll now need to do some counting. There's seven holes between each ladder. So now you would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first hook goes in. One, two, three, four, five. The next hook goes in. You grab the next ladder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Again, seven. And five. When you're done, you'll have all four ladders installed onto the pegboard. Next step will be to install our crossbar. This crossbar holds the ladders firmly to the, the gondola. You're going to install it right below the row of hooks, and it's going to go into the upright. As it goes into the upright, you will notice that one of the ends is longer. That end is the end that's going to go into the pegboard or into the upright and it'll lock down. When you're done, the crossbar will look like this. As you install ladders two and three, you may need to install one just a little bit lower for the next row so they don't interfere. On the ladders, you will notice that there are a number of bars. There's actually nine. In the directions, we call these position one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> the first thing we'll be installing 
is these hooks that hold your merchandise. The hooks just hang off of the ladders like that. In your instruction booklet on page 8, the hook is this blue box and it shows where to put each of the hooks. So as you will see on position 3 we'll have one on each ladder. On position 5 we'll have one on each ladder. But some of the ladders will have less hooks than others and each section will have its own specific number of hooks. Follow this planogram to know where to put the hooks. We'll install kit A, the first four foot section now. So as noted, we're going to be installing these. They're on position three. All four ladders will be getting a hook. On position five, one, two, three, four, five, all four ladders will be getting hooks. Then as we drop to position seven, only the last two ladders will be getting hooks. And again on position eight, only the last two ladders will get hooks. When you're done, it'll look like this. The next part is called our stick guide. Our stick guide has four bars like this. Again, as noted in your instructions on page 9, the stick guide is a triangle. On position 6, we'll be installing four. Every ladder in your entire set will have one of these stick guides, so four for each section. As we said, position 6 gets the stick guides. So one, two, three, four. These stick guides also need to be aligned properly. As you'll note, two of them come fixed to the position, but there are two that jump from ladder to ladder. Our entire ladder can shift back and forth. So make sure that each of these gaps is just right. Move your ladders until they fit. If your ladders are too close, they'll overlap. So you want to get the gap just right by sliding your ladder. The last part we will be installing is your stick holder. Your stick holder has these wavy bars on top. Again, you'll refer to your directions, page 10. The stick holder equals this oval circle. You'll be putting a stick holder on every ladder at the top of every ladder, and you'll actually putting a, a stick holder that will jump between ladder 1 and 2, 2 and 3. In fact, you'll be jumping all of your ladders, and here between section B and C, you'll actually be putting a stick holder that will jump from your fourth ladder to your first ladder. This yellow does not mean it's a special stick holder, just was to show you you'll be, you'll be jumping over your gondola upright. So we'll install these now. Again, at the top of every ladder, we'll get a stick holder. in position one. And as we noted, you will jump over on position two from, la from ladder to ladder. And they will be installed as such. You've now completed setting up the fixture system for kit A. All the parts are here as outlined in your setup directions. Again, your setup directions show exactly what hook positions and what hooks are needed for kit A, the first four feet, kit B, the second four feet, and kit C, the third four feet. Once all the hooks are up, you can start laying out your product. 
You should have a planogram from the corporate office to explain what items go on each hook. Also included in your direction booklet is a photograph of what your set will look like with all of the items on it. Good luck. If you need any help in your book on page one, we missed an 800 number for you to call in and ask for directions. You'll be prompted to hit the uh, number four key and it'll direct you to somebody who can help you. Thank you.